ability. And, he, you know, and he's, like you say, he's trained for this all his life. This is where he wants to be. Yeah. This is it's all, but there's a pressure with that. But he comes with it quite well. I think he's quite grown. I know where he grew up. So they're quite grounded, and you yeah. have to be. You don't, yeah. no, no, no one takes a, no one likes a, a, a big head. No. If, if it's one of the better. Why you stay so grounded? I know Barry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, it is. But and, and I think he's, he's as ready as he's going to be. Yeah. I do feel that way. Uh, pleased to be joined by uh, Lewis Rees Samit, one of the young stars of uh, of Welsh rugby. And uh, Lewis, I don't know how far you and Joe go back. When did you first meet him? Uh, we haven't actually met that much. Um, but obviously, both being Maltese. Um, family, friends, etc. Uh, so I've obviously, I've heard about Joe for a long time now, um, since, yeah, since he was younger. Um, but yeah, we've only met a couple of times, um, but obviously looking at, his, looking at his boxing, he's done pretty well. Yeah, he has done well. I, I know you're a young man, it's no stranger to pressure at uh, a young age. You've been on a Lions tour, you scored. Wow. It's exceptional. It yeah. really is. Like you know, you're talking about a superstar. Have you felt that pressure at any point being such a such just, a young player, or no. did you just manage? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did at the start. Um, you know, when you play in front of well, 75,000 people, I've got over the pressure a little bit now. Uh, and Barry, like you know, we talk about Joe having home advantage on on Saturday and, and the home support, and we've heard a little snippet of it here this afternoon, you know a guy is going to get a hostile welcome and Cordina is going to get a favourable yeah. one. But some level, that does add a, another dimension of, of Cordina, the, the pressure that he's under on Saturday. It's an expectation, because remember, all these people who come to watch Joe, they don't think he's going to lose. No. They don't think it's going to be a hard fight. Most of them just think... Most of them haven't watched a guy. They just, well, they're, <laughs> they're turning up to see him win. Yeah. They're not turning up to see anything else. So, they, so if it becomes a board of attrition, all of a sudden, there's a panic in their voice. All of a sudden, it goes a bit quiet, and that's worse than, than the noise. Mm. But it, the, like any any top class sports, when you have to deal with external pressures, you got you put pressure on yourself. But the external pressures is is what can set you apart from being good and the best. Mm. And how, how you deal with them is very important. And if you can if you can use that crowd to inspire him, but not not cloud his judgment in how he how he goes on the fight and his tactics, then he'll do fine. I know. I know you'll understand this in in big games, Lewis when there are big moments and suddenly the crowd turns and you feel the momentum behind you and you, you get yeah. that, that can give you a, a surge of energy at points when sometimes you need it, can't it? Oh, 100%, it's massive, you know, when the, when the crowd's behind you, um, it gives you such a boost, um, you know, they're, they're, they're so onto your back and all, all you think about is, you know, well, making them proud and also, you know, putting your best foot forward um, and I'm sure the crowd will be behind Joe this weekend and... Um, you know, I have no doubt that he'll, he'll go on and do his thing. Good stuff. Well, listen, mate, we just want to wish you all the very best for Thank Saturday. Hopefully we'll see you with the fight and uh, Cheers, with the playoff place uh, you under much. your belt as well. Cheers, Cheers. Uh, Lewis Bruce Samick, one of the uh, stars of Welsh rugby in action uh, on Saturday. And we may see him in the arena on Saturday night, hopefully, uh, as part of a victorious uh, team. Tony Sims going through the, the motions and, well... Normally, I'll be talking to Darren Barker about how well Tony Sims oh, has, has rebuilt. It took a while. No, you mentioned it. it took you a while. You didn't know we were different people until about two hours ago. So. No, I didn't. It's really disappointing, actually. Yeah. So I can ask you where your belt was. Yeah. Said, I don't know. What about. Well, it's, it's a Matalan one, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, Tony Sims, the way he's rebuilt um, the, the stable after kind of the, the Barker era went down, obviously, yeah. John Ryder, Ted Cheeseman, Conor Ben. I mean, he's done remarkable things with Conor Ben over five or six years, given his lack of amateur background. And, of course, this man, Joe Cordina, as well. She, Tony's a fantastic coach. Understated. I love, I love everything about him. As a man, as a coach, mm. he's one of my favourite people in boxing. But when you become a good fighter, success please success. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.